Hi, it's Ben from Apple Park here. So a lot of people really like my video and the associated files that are on GitHub. Um, those are the files that provide a solution to automatically take tasks from Planner and import them into Power BI using Power Automate. However, a few people have been getting this specific error. Flow save failed with code multiple errors, etc. And in truth, it's a big and it's a scary error. However, if we break it down, this is the important bit which reoccurs multiple times. Get table failed with status code not found. So what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to go ahead and fix that. Now the screenshots from the video that I'm going to show you are not my implementation of this. They're actually one of my YouTubers who took the files and had this error. And what we did was we got together and I video recorded us troubleshooting and resolving this error. Obviously what I have done is I've obfuscated that person's name and that person's data so you don't see any personable identifiable information. So we've got to be very concerned about this in today's world. But let's just say a quick thanks to Michelle for letting me record and letting me help her troubleshoot the issue. Okay, so let's get started and I'll take you through this step by step. You may want to begin to pause the video if you're troubleshooting your system in real time. Okay, so the first thing that we do is we go and change the import setup from update to create as new. Once that is done, we'll then go and select the relevant account to use for each of the related resources and that replaces those red warning icons. Once you've done that for each connection, then you can go ahead and click on the import button here. Now this is where I used to think this would just work really successfully, but plainly it doesn't for everybody. This is likely to take 30 seconds or so, and so I'll skip the video and we'll resume at the error that I know that we're gonna get for this client. All right, here's the problem. At the top, you can see it says, import failed for one or more package resources. And those red warning icons have raised their ugly head again. About the only option that I've actually got on this screen that's available to me at this stage is to click on the button here that says to save as new flow. So let's go ahead and do exactly that. Now, what that does is it opens a new window and you can see that I've got various warning icons which when I hover over them indicate that I've got an invalid connection. So, right, what we have to do is to go into each connection and re-enter a valid connection. So let's go and do that. Okay, so maybe you would think that's it, but it's not. Now we have to select the correct location, document library, file, and the relevant table in the Excel file for each action that deals with Excel. In truth, you know, we, we were going to need to do this anyway, so this isn't really additional work. Uh, so, you know, we've got, just got to go ahead and do it. Now, clearly, before we start to enter the Excel file and location, we must have already downloaded that Excel file from GitHub, stored it in a SharePoint folder somewhere, and we must know where that SharePoint folder location is. So, let's assume we've already done that, and we know that location. So remember, we need to do this for every action that deals with Excel. So you've got to make sure that you expand every action in every branch of a flow. The first branch deals exclusively with tasks. So when you come and select which table to delete tasks from or delete rows from and add rows into, that's going to be the tasks underscore TBL table. The second branch uh, deals exclusively with assignments. So for that branch, you're going to be working with the assignments underscore TBL table in Excel. Okay, again, there's a lot of work to do here. So I'm going to fast forward this. Once you think everything is done, click on the save button. If you still get an error, like we did here, then there's still a flow component that hasn't been configured successfully or properly. So 
go back and check again. It took us a little while to find this one, but you know, this was our issue. In truth, fixing all of this probably took us the best part of 20 minutes. Okay, once we fixed that particular error, we were able to click on save again, and this time we were able to save without any errors, hurrah. Now you're in a position as we were to run the flow, and when we do that, we start to get data into Excel. Brilliant, job done. All right, so that's it. That's a wrap for this video. If you like what you see, please do subscribe to the channel, and that way you'll automatically be notified when I post any new content. And of course, please leave any feedback on any other Power Platform solutions you might want to see, specifically if they're around Power BI. All right, thanks again. Have a great day. Cheers.